The beautiful land of Vrindavan, India is a holy place that attracts millions of visitors each year. Traditionally, this land is famous for being a natural paradise, yet it is becoming increasingly urbanized. The vast grasslands where the cows once grazed have been replaced by roads and concrete buildings, leaving them with nothing to eat but rotten food and plastic. The many street dogs also have to forage in the trash piles of society. There are no more fruit trees left for the monkeys to survive on, and their hunger often leads to aggressive clashes with human society. And of course, with tourism comes traffic. Vrindavan is located between two highways that link the major cities of Delhi and Agra. Unfortunately, visitors often drive extremely recklessly. As a result, animals large and small are injured or killed. For the last few years, a group of concerned citizens has been volunteering to help the animals of Brej. In 2020, this group became Brej Animal Care. Our goal is to alleviate the suffering these animals face through our feeding and medical programs. Brudge Animal Care provides about 15,000 animal meals a month to the cows, dogs, monkeys, and other animals. Each morning, our team traverses 18 feeding points around the town. The animals are always waiting for us, knowing that this will be the only nutritious food they get throughout the day. Brudge Animal Care's medical team provides emergency services throughout Vrindavan, Mathura, and nearby villages, with about 1,000 treatments performed each month. We treat a variety of problems ranging from various diseases to devastating car accidents. As calls flood in throughout the day, we go wherever street animals need us and perform treatment on the spot, whether that's in an empty lot, a field, or by the side of a busy road. As you can see, <laughs> we don't always have the best conditions where we do the treatments. Got cars driving everywhere and screaming at our guys to get up and move out of the way so they can get by. <laughs> Winter is what we call puppy season because this is the time when the mother dogs give birth. During this time, we treat a large number of puppies who are experiencing terrible diseases or who have been run over by vehicles. It's absolutely heartbreaking to see puppies who were just born with broken backs, legs, and hips. This little puppy's head was run over by a motorcycle and its jaw was snapped leaving it unable to eat or drink. See the, the whole entire jaw is disconnected. We wanted to get surgery for this puppy. The surgeon wasn't available. Today, uh, he's available to see the puppy, but it's like he's already mostly gone. He's not strong enough. So there's somebody nearby that kind of looks after the puppy, but there's not much you can do. He can't close his mouth. The whole entire jaw came off. A motorcycle ran over his face, and in the same week, a motorcycle ran over the back of him as well. So he's, he's been through hell, just in like a very short amount of time. We wanted to take him for surgery to get the jaw reconnected if possible, but it's like, if he's this weak, he probably won't survive the surgery. So there's not a whole lot we can do. The best case scenario is to get these puppies off the streets and adopted into loving homes. And we try to do this whenever possible. We got him when he was this big and he had a broken leg. His leg had gotten run over by a car. And we thought, and we thought he was gonna die. We took him to the, hospital and he got a cast and everything. 
It was broken in two places actually. Now look, he can even walk on the on the leg very well. He can run on the leg. Hey, baby. With the warm weather comes maggot season. And during this time, the situation becomes even worse. Maggots are tiny worm-like creatures that eat the flesh of animals. They can turn even the tiniest scratch into a life-threatening wound. In winter, we may get 20 to 30 calls a day, whereas in summer, the number is at least double that. To meet the needs of these animals, Bredge Animal Care has been growing fast. In the coming year, we hope to increase our staff and open a shelter where our animal patients can recover and where handicapped ones can live out the rest of their lives. We invite you to come volunteer with us in Vrindavan. Meet the animals, help us feed them, give them love. It's one of the most fulfilling things you can do for another soul.